Yeah. We've got Weems Bay getting the ferry over to Butte to Rothsey and the Isle of Butte in the Firth of Clyde. Weems Bay train station's got a used bookstore. So I'm hoping it's going to be open. I can spend, spend an hour browsing. So let's see. Shut. I'm back at Weems Bay again. Let's see if they're open this time. It's the same time I was here last week. Last week it was open at 11 instead of 10. Let's see if it's open at 10 today. a successful wee haul. I'll show you them all when I get home. Right, we're home. Let's see what we got in the Mammoth Book Hall from Weems Bay Station Bookshop. This is exciting. 15 books I came home with. And I spent £18.50. How about that? So, are you ready? I'm going to start with Game of Thrones, book one. Classic. 
Clash of Kings. Book two, A Song of Ice and Fire. Storm of Swords, book three of Song of Ice and Fire. Dance with Dragons, book five of Song of Ice and Fire. So you'll know if you're a fan of the series that Feast of Crows is missing. They didn't have Feast for Crows. But what are you going to do? One, two, three, four, five, six books, six quid. <laughs> awesome. And what else did we get? The Golden Fool by Robin Hobb. So at the moment I'm rereading the Farseer trilogy. I'm just about to start book two. Uh, I've read it twice before. And I've only read Live Ship Traders once, and then I've read nothing after that. So I really want to get through all of the realm of the Elderlings. And I saw this one, one pound. It's a shame they didn't have the others, but you know, we can keep going back, or we can go online. Stephen King, do my key. I love Stephen King. I hadn't read this one. This was also a quid. And the Kingslingers podcast has recently done an episode on this, which I haven't listened to, obviously, because I've not read it. But I thought since they have done a review, I'll get the book. They did have other Stephen King books, but I didn't buy them. Oh, hardback. Ready for this one? John Steinbeck. So one of my all-time favourite books is Grapes of Wrath. I don't have a physical copy. Or rather, I didn't. Now I've got this one. I also love East of Eden. I saw someone review it recently, or was it on the TBR on Booktube? Can't remember. But it was mentioned recently on Booktube, and I was like, oh yeah, I did love that. So this one was two quid. But, you know... One, two, three, four, five books. Hardback, two quid. <sighs> Bargain. Of Mice and Men I read at high school. Don't remember it. I mean, I remember the story, but I haven't read it since leaving high school a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, Canary Row I've also read. The Moon is Down I have not. So that's a bargain. That's going to be good on the shelf. I'm looking forward to getting to them. Last one in this bag. <gasps> My favourite fantasy series. So, at the moment, I'm reading Lord Phil's Bane. The first book of the first trilogy. It's a reread because I'm doing a podcast with an old friend of mine who's never read any of these. In fact, I don't think he's ever read any fantasy at all. So we've recorded the pilot, we've recorded the first and second episode. I haven't finished editing yet, but we wanted to have a few in the can before I started so that we could publish weekly and have a buffer. So he doesn't have a copy of this. He does have a copy of the same three-in-one for the first Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, which I got him. I got him online at Abe Books, I think. Or was it World of Books? Can't remember. But it was £2 plus £3 shipping, something like that. And then I saw this, I was like, <laughs> a quid. Three books for a quid. So he'll now have both of these. And I'm sure I'll inherit the other one because he doesn't want to keep stuff. He's a, a minimalist, I suppose you would say. So then I can swap this with him, <coughs> and we can hopefully, we'll still be recording by then, and hopefully the podcast will be a global success by then. But anyway, it's really good fun recording a podcast with a friend and doing a close read of 
books that are favourites, you know, and getting so much more out of it that way. So on to bag number two. We've got Turgenev, Fathers and Sons. Never read any Turgenev. Isn't that interesting? I did a degree in Russian language and literature and there was never any Turgenev on my reading list. So I'm going to fix that. Joe Nesbo, The Snowman. My daughter's boyfriend bought me a Joe Nesbo book for Christmas 2022. I'd never read any. And I think it was called The Redeemer. And I really enjoyed it. I do like crime fiction. I don't read it very often. So I thought, do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to get this one. A quid. Then we got into some history. I was looking through all of the Soviet history books that they had. And they had a few. So this is a thriller. Part John Grisham-like thriller, part business and political memoir. Reads more like a financial thriller than a real-life story. So, you know, <laughs> I'm excited for this. Require reading for anyone wishing to understand Putin's Russia. Well, that's me. I'd never heard of it, and it looked good, so I got it. This was 150 though. Wonder why. Two more. The Long Shadow. Inside Stalin's family. So that's getting added to the Stalin pile. I've got a big pile. This one looks good. It's got lots of photos, which I always like in a history book. And I'm looking to read more Stalin books from different authors so that I can get a more complete picture. And I know that somebody's writing a big series right now. Someone told me that in a comment. Can't remember who, but yeah, plenty of Stalin coming up on the channel. Last one. Caught in the revolution. Gripping vivid, deeply researched by Simon Sebag Montefiore. So I've got some of his books and he would know. This one's a gripping, vivid, deeply researched chronicle of the Russian Revolution told through the eyes of a surprising flamboyant cast of foreigners in Petrograd. Superbly narrated by Helen Rappaport, who, as with her previous book on the Tsar's daughters, brings this period to life with authority and her fine eye for character and telling detail. So says Simon Seabag Montefiore, author, author of The Romanovs which is on my TBR. I don't have it, but I'll get it. Two quid. <laughs> so how's that for a haul? If you get a chance to visit the Weems Bay Station bookshop, I highly recommend that you do. It's a beautiful little shop. And I'll be back again very soon. So I hope you enjoyed that wee book haul. If you want to hear some reviews when I finally get to these, Stick around. Thanks for watching. See you later.